Hey, this is Mel with Beacon Code It. I am talking about Redstone as part of our Redstone uh, Minecraft Amusement Park series. So we're still talking about the basics of Redstone. We have discussed how it is akin to uh, electricity, how the Redstone dust is like an electric wire how we have, um, I basically mentioned inputs and outputs um, being like a redstone torch being a uh, an input and a redstone lamp being like an output and how those are akin to uh, the electric outlet in your wall and the lamp is like a lamp, right? And this is like the wire and it conducting electricity, which is a form of data. So next thing we're going to talk about is what we can use redstone with. How can we build redstone? How can we go up and down in uh, not just left and right like we've been doing? So right now we've been using x, y coordinates. And if you need a primer on that, um, go ahead and look up coordinate systems online. x is basically uh, an axis, uh, and it refers to the horizontal axis. Uh, y would be a vertical axis. But there's another axis in 3D, which is the Z axis. So anyways, that helps us go in three dimensions, up, down, um, not only left and right, like we've been utilizing redstone right now. OK, so let's go ahead and let me show you something about building um, up and down. I'm going to grab a grass block, and I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to move this redstone dust, and we're going to see how we can build up and then back down with redstone dust on this opaque, which is you can't see through it, black. Transparent, you can see through. Opaque, you can't, right? So let me choose my redstone dust by pressing, in my case, 1 on my keyboard that corresponds to the location of my redstone dust and the slots that I have here. Now I'm going to start building. I want to go over this grass block. So let me get a little closer, and uh, hopefully my m mouse will respond here. Sorry about that. Yikes. My computer just spazzed out on me. OK, I'm going to click on top of this grass block. Look what happens. The redstone continued. Now let's click on the block, n on uh, the grass block next to that one. And voila, look what we did. I'm going to move around so you can see. That redstone, we had it travel over this block. Now let's see if we can pull it off this side. Hey, we can. I just clicked on that side of the block. And what about this side? What do you think? I'm thinking if you're saying yes, you are right. There you go. So you could move redstone up like that. Um, you can also, you also saw you just moved it down. We just moved it up and back down. So you could take that and uh, that principle and think about how you might be able to navigate different terrain or maybe your house and hide things underground, perhaps. Hide wires underground with redstone. Next thing I want to do is demonstrate the difference between redstone with opaque and transparent blocks. So again, we've been using opaque, which is just means you can't see through the block, okay? They're blocks that have, you, you can't see through them. Transparency, like a glass block. Let's see if redstone works with glass. So I just put a glass block down. Now I'm going to click my redstone dust, and let's try it, just like we did with the grass. Huh, it doesn't work. Let's see if it will go through it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I just demonstrated to you how you'll want to use opaque blocks with redstone. All right, next thing we're going to move on to in the next part of this session include inputs and outputs. So there are many other input types, and we're going to have fun playing with things like buttons and levers.